the barbershop is the pinnacle of the community. You got all sorts of people that come through the barbershop. Doctors, lawyers, business owners, they come through the barbershop. Barbershop is a social gathering spot. If something's happening in the community, they know about it in the barbershop. It's discussed in the barbershop. There's more stuff going on in the barbershop than just cutting hair. But we won't go there right now. I got a guy that owns a landscaping business. He comes here to get his hair cut. I got a guy that owns a food truck. He gets his hair cut here. I got a guy who owns a soul food restaurant across town. A guy came in here today. Say he's doing a fish fry next weekend. All these people that come into your shop that own businesses and got stuff going on. That's money you leaving on the table, G. Let me tell you how I turn those customers into extra big money. Okay, so I got this barber shop. So I got about 2,000 customers that I deal with every month or so. These customers live all over the county. These customers could be using the services of other customers that come into my shop that own businesses. Maybe you're looking for somebody to cut your lawn. Hey, you know what? That person comes to my barber shop. I cut their hair. Oh, you running for mayor? And you need to get the word out about your agenda? Guess what? I have an audience of 2,000 customers that live all over the county that you can get your word out to. And I'm about to show you how to do that and put money in your pocket. So what do I got going on? I got this app called Priority. And the thing I like about this is it looks like an app specifically for my shop. This app essentially runs my shop. You know, just like other apps, customers can use this to book an appointment. But the thing that makes this different is this app also handles walk-ins. Now you see this empty space down here? This is space that I can put whatever I want. So hear me out. I got like 2,000, 3,000 customers that live all over the county that use this app to book their appointments or get in line. This app is your mouthpiece to talk to all of your customers. Okay, so check this out. If I want to put down there pictures of haircuts that I do in the shop, I can do that. I can put whatever I want down there. Let me now. Now, what makes the customer look at this screen or, or keep looking at the screen? The customers can see the waiting list for every barber in the shop. They can see what the estimated wait is. They can see where they are in line. They know exactly how long it's going to be before they get in the chair and get their hair cut. So they're going to be looking at this because they want to get the hell out the barbershop. They want to know how much longer their wait is or how much longer before they need to be at the barbershop to get their hair cut. So the customer is going to be looking at this. They are a captive audience. They're going to be looking at this while they're sitting in the barbershop wondering how much longer before I get my hair cut. They are looking at this screen. It scrolls through all the barbers in the shop, everybody is, that's on their waiting list, and how long they got to wait. Now see that empty space at the bottom of the waiting list where you see the people listed? That's where the magic comes in. That's where the money is. That's what I'm going to talk about next. Boom! Look at this. See that space at the bottom of the wait list? Now it's populated with these rotating advertisements. Where did they come from? Those are advertisements put there by me. Priority lets me put anything I want down there. Those are advertisements that I charge for people to put down there because I got an audience of 2,000 customers that are going to be looking at this when they're waiting to see when they're going to get in the chair and get their hair cut. They're going to see your advertisement. So I charge between $1 and $200 a month to put an advertisement there. Well, that's depending on who you are. That Planet Fitness right there, the guy who runs that place, he comes to my shop for a haircut. And this, this lady right here, Kristen Powers, she's running for an, uh, an electric office. So she's got campaign money. So I charge her $2,500 a month for that ad. So if I got 10 or 15 people paying me each month to put ads up, yo, I got bank. This guy right here, he's across the street. He's got this little car lot. So I'm charging him $200 a month for his ad. Now these ads, you can click on it. So if a customer is interested in anything, they can click on it and they, it can go to your website and give you more information. This ad right here is our internal ad in the shop. We selling fire sticks and stuff like that. Internet TV. So we got that ad going on. 
this guy right here, he's three doors down. He's selling food. So you sit near my barber shop. You see that hamburger. You're going to click on that. And you're going to go down and get food at that guy's shop. So whenever a customer's waiting in line, waiting for service, or even coming to the app to book an appointment, or, you know, get in line, they're going to see these ads. They're going to see these ads. You have a captive audience here. This app is your personal app for the shop, and you got an audience of all your customers that live wherever they live in the county where you got your shop. Watch this. I'm going to go outside my barbershop and show you where I'm going to make extra bank. My barbershop is in this plaza. So I'm a small business owner like all the other small business owners in this plaza. In fact, some of them probably come into my shop to get their hair cut. What do I see here? I see dollar signs. Dollar signs, dollar signs. These businesses can advertise with me. I know some of them. I see an extra fifty, hundred dollars a month when they place an ad with me. Cause I got thousands of customers that come through my shop that live all over the county. Look at that, I'm gonna get that nail salon. They're gonna advertise with me. Yo, all I did was walk outside my barber shop and I see hey. Five, six hundred dollars extra a month I'm gonna make. Like I said, you got thousands of customers that you can reach with this app. You may be asking yourself, why would somebody be willing to pay so much money for these ads? And the answer is, you have a captive audience. The audience is not going anywhere. They are guaranteed to see the ad. On YouTube, when an ad comes up, what do you do? You skip it. On TV, when a commercial comes on, what do you do? You turn the channel. On Facebook or on the internet, when some thing pops up in your feed or in your window, what do you do? You don't, you don't click on it. You don't look at it. Here, you have customers staring at their phone. Why are they staring at their phone? Because they want to know when they get in the hell out of this barbershop. When do they get in there turning it for a haircut? How much longer they got to wait? Where are they in line? Maybe I'm out shopping or maybe I'm at home. How much longer do I have before I need to go down to the barbershop and get my hair cut? So that's why I'm staring at this screen. I don't want to miss seeing how much longer I got to wait or when it's going to be my turn. So that's why people are willing to pay big dollars for this ad. You have an audience that's guaranteed to see the ad. They looking at their phone. They want to get the hell out of this barbershop and get their hair cut. They ain't got time to be sitting here all day. Let me show you how easy it is in Priority to configure these ads. So let me log into the ad manager so I can, uh, you know, configure these ads. So now I'm logged in and now I can see, look, I can see all the ads I'm running. All it is is a URL pointing to the picture of the ad that I'm running that's somewhere on the internet. The picture is somewhere on the internet, and I just paste the link in, and that runs the ad. Say I want to change one of those ads. So there's a guy outside that has a food truck. I want to run his ad. So I'm going to go online, find a picture of his food truck, because I know it's here somewhere. There, that's the ad I want to run. I find out what, that, what the address list is of that ad, for, for the URL. Just right click, and I can see where that ad is. What's the address? I'm going to copy it. Copy the address. Put it up in my address bar. So I can verify I got the right image. That's going to be the ad I'm going to run. Yep, that's it right there. So I take that URL. I come back to priority. And I'm just going to paste that in. And that's going to make me run that ad. I'm going to paste it right. Uh, let's see, right where that... Uh, which ad do I want to replace? Let's see. I want to replace, yeah, the hamburger ad. Take that link out of where that picture is and paste the picture of the food truck. Because that guy, he said he'll pay me $75. So I save that. There we go. Now that ad's running. Let's go back and you'll see it in the priority app. All my customers are going to see the ad for that food truck. So I come here, open up the app. Boom! Look at that. There's the ad for the food truck right there. And if you're on the waiting list, if you're looking at that, you're going to see the ad for the food truck right there. 
And like I said, when the person clicks on the food truck, they can go get more information about what's happening on the food truck. So, you know, boom, captive audience. Dollars, dollars, dollars right there in your shop and you don't know it. With priority, take advantage of that. Put some extra dollars in your pocket. This app does the same stuff all the other apps do, plus more. So it does your appointments and it does your walk-ins, plus is a way for you to get paid. And the app is free. So I don't know what you're paying for the other apps, but this is free. So after you download the app and get it all set up, the ads feature is a feature you have to contact them and they have to turn on. Um, they charge $50 to get that feature turned on, but I don't mind paying that. I make that $50 back easily every month. I do about, like I said, I do about between five and eight Gs just from selling ads by using this app. The link to their website is in the description and also a link to download the app from the App Store.